What is up, party people? Welcome back to our WooCommerce series. My name is Daryl Wilson. Today in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to add a really cool feature to your websites. I'll be showing you guys how to add product bundles to your WooCommerce store. With this group plugin, you'll be able to add group products together in a variety of ways. First, you can group products as a bundle. For example, you can offer three products in one as a package deal. Secondly, you can offer one product and offer discounts if the user adds additional products to the carts. The more they add, the more discounts they receive. Lastly, you can make the bundled products optional. Basically, you can upsell your products. If the user decides to buy them, they can get a discount. You guys can use this in a variety of ways such as product discounts or even offer insurance plans or warranties for your products. Now I do have a confession to make. So before I made this video, I tested out every single free plugin in the WordPress repository. I literally tried every single plugin and I installed it on my website. My personal experience is that the best WooCommerce product bundle plugin was actually a pro plugin. There is actually one free plugin that's actually really cool that I'll be showing you near the end of the video, but the best one hands down was a premium product. Now for you guys watching this, we're actually gonna give this plugin away for free. So there is a link in the description where you guys can download it and test it out on your WordPress website. Of course, if you guys do wanna support the original developer, you guys can obtain a license. But if you guys just do wanna try it and see how it works, we have it available in the description of this video. So without further ado, let me show you guys how to use this plugin and install it on your WordPress websites. You guys ready? Let's go. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you guys the WooCommerce product bundles. I personally think this is a great plugin to add on your websites because it can really truly add conversions to your websites. So for example, here we have this product, right? I'm gonna click on these running shoes. And if I scroll down, you're gonna see that we have these other two products. We have basketball and we also have basketball nets. So these products are already included inside of the running shoes. So when they purchase this product, they're gonna get two more products on top of that. Now here you're gonna see that we added this description. You guys can choose to add in your own description or you guys can use the description for the product. Let me show you guys the options here in the back and just show you how simple it is. So for example, here I, uploaded the basketball rights. And here you're gonna see we have some basic settings and then also we have the advanced settings, right? So here's the basic settings and the advanced settings. Now this is important because a lot of the options that I've seen from other plugins, uh, they don't have the shipped individually. And this is very important because you guys probably need this, right? So this will charge basically shipping for each individual product, even though it's a grouped product. Now for the advanced, you're gonna see you guys can override the title you guys can override the short description. So you guys can choose to have various descriptions for your products, just in case you don't wanna use the default description for that product. You guys can also choose to hide the thumbnail. So with the options here for this specific plugin, it makes it really, really easy to create group products unlike any other plugin I have seen. I have tried tons of free plugins and none of them even came close to the options, yet simplicity as this plugin. Now I'll be giving you guys this plugin away for free. So this is the original plugin. It is called WooCommerce Product Bundles. However, I'm gonna give you guys a free copy of this plugin. There is a link in the description to this plugin, which you guys can download it and upload to your WordPress website. If you guys do wanna continue using it, I do recommend to you know buy it from the original developer. But for those of you who just want to try it out on your website, you guys can download it in the description of this video. So with that said, you guys can go ahead and download it, and then I'll show you guys how to use this plugin. Now also, I will be showing you guys a free alternative that you guys can use. Out of all these plugins in the WordPress repository, there was one decent one that I tried. I tried all of them, right? I literally tried like all of them. So I'll give you guys a free option just in case you guys wanna go that route. But I don't think you guys are gonna want to after watching this part of the video, to be honest. So let's go ahead and go to our dashboard here and let's upload that plugin. So let's go over here to plugins, click on add new, and then up here, you click on upload plugin and then choose the file. And here is the plugin. It is called WooCommerce product bundles. You'll click on open and then you'll click on install now. Okay, so you'll go ahead and activate it. So I currently already have it activated. So right here, I'll click on replace with uploaded and I'll basically activate the plugin. All right, cool. So once you guys activate the plugin, I'll just go to the plugin installer and it looks like the plugin was installed on the websites. Now, after you guys have the plugin installed, you'll need to go over here to products and then just click on add products. Okay, so the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a package, right, or a bundle. So I'm gonna put sports package here. Here you guys can add in some product description for your sports package. I'll just throw in some general dummy content right here, right? 
and then I'll add in a image. Now remember, this is the image that's going to represent your main product. So what I'll do is I'll just put in this basketball here, right? Okay, so I got this basketball and this is gonna be 99.99, okay? Now on the left side, you're gonna see product data. Now I wanna click on this and I wanna click on product bundle. Once I click on product bundle, you guys are gonna see we have a new tab right here called product bundles. So I'll click on product bundles. And here you guys have a variety of options. You have layouts, form location, item grouping, minimum bundle size, and maximum bundle size. Now, in my opinion, the best way to learn how to use this plugin is first add the products you guys want to add with this main product right here. So I'm going to now add products. So I'm gonna add in a glove. Okay, so add in my glove product. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the basic settings. So the first is the minimum quantity. This essentially is saying you guys must have at least one of these products, right? Pretty self-explanatory, right? So they can only add one. Now here is the max quantity. So basically saying you guys can add more to the cart, but you guys cannot add more than five. For example, over here, if I try to like add in more, you'll see the most I can add in is four basketball nets, right? Now, I just wanna be very clear here that when they added more, they are not being charged extra. So they're actually getting free basketball nets. Now, I'll be talking about how you guys can charge for this, but I just want to let you guys know that if they do add in more like this, they are not being charged. So you can see the price here doesn't change. Now, let's go back over here. So the default quantity. So what is the default quantity that you guys want selected? You guys can have two, three, you know, but probably just one, right? Now the next is the optional tab. This will actually make the glove optional, which actually is kind of cool at the same time because that means you guys can use this for a lot of different reasons. Like maybe this can be an insurance plan. Maybe this can be a, um, a warranty or something like that. For example, over here we have our base running shoes. And if I scroll down, you're gonna see that the basketball is now optional, right? So it's no longer a part of the product. They would actually have to click on this and then they would have the option here to add this to the cart and the quantity and so on and so forth, right? So that is what the optional tab does right there. Now this option right here is actually pretty important. This is the price individually. Remember earlier how we talked about how they would not be charged for the products? Well, now you guys can charge for them. So for example, we'll go back over here to our other tab and now you're gonna see that the basketball here is gonna be charged $42. And every single time I add one to the cart, it's also going to reflect the cart right here. So now the user can just go ahead and keep adding more and more. I mean, this is a great way to get more conversions. I really do like this plugin to be honest. But um, over here, you're gonna see that we can also add a discount. So I actually did add a discount for my specific products right here. So if you guys do wanna say, you know what, you guys can add more and for every single glove that you're gonna add, we'll give you guys a 25% discount for every single glove. So that's how you guys can use this to sort of add in like, you know, incentive for people to purchase more of your products. Next, we have the advanced. And this is where you guys can actually hide the product that they're actually getting a bundle. I'm not sure why you guys would wanna do this, but over here, if you guys actually wanna hide this right here, you guys can say, you know what? I don't wanna show this in the product details. I don't wanna show this in the cart or on the order status, right? Some people might find a use for that, but I don't think I would want to do that. And next we have the price visibility. You guys can also choose to hide the price in the product details in the cart and checkout and also the order details if you guys do wanna go that route, right? So if you guys wanna hide um, you know, the price over here where users cannot see this, then you guys can also hide that in the advanced settings. Now, these options right here actually make a little bit more sense. You guys can actually change the title of the product. So over here, if you do wanna change the title from basketball to something else, you guys can go ahead and alter the title for your specific product. You guys can also override the short description. And this actually gets really useful because what you're gonna see here is that some of your products might actually have a lot of description, which gets really annoying and you just have to scroll and maybe you have like tons of description, right? So you guys can actually just go ahead and sum that up into something very small, like, oh yeah, congrats, you got a new basketball, you know, go outside and have fun, right? So you guys can go ahead and override the short description and also override the thumbnail. So over here, you'll see that there is a thumbnail. You guys can choose to hide this uh, with this advanced option right here. So that is pretty much one of the products, right? So I'll go ahead and collapse this now. So we did talk about the basic and the advanced and now I'll just say, you know what, let's add in one more product here and we will add in the basketball nets. Basketball nets, there we go, okay. So the same thing right here, we have the basketball nets. I'll just go ahead and uh, just change the short description. I think that's a good one. This is my new description. 
okay? And I'll collapse that. So now essentially what I've done here is they're gonna get the sports package. So they're going to receive this ball right here, right? And they're also going to receive this glove and also basketball nets. So the next is the layout. You guys can choose to change the layout right here. So like, I guess they have tabular, right? And you know, guys, the best way to show you guys is just visually, right? You just have to kind of just tinker with the options to just, you know, see which one you like. So this is like their, I guess, tabular feature, right? Or style. And you'll see that, uh, you know, it does, does look a little different, right? They got the tabular, right? They also have the grid layout as well. And with the grid, you'll see once I scroll down, it shows it like this right here, right? So yeah, it's another format. I guess it's a cool way to, to showcase it, right? So next we have item grouping. Now with grouped, it'll showcase this main product here as the main product, and these are gonna be sub products, right? If you guys actually go over here and change this to flat, the options will change only in the cart and checkout. So over here, if I click over here, you're gonna see that the main running shoes is actually the main product, right? But then it's adding basketball and basketball nets, but it's not really adding it under it. So you'll see it's just kind of randomly adding the products. I don't like this option, to be honest. I think grouped makes it look a lot more structured, but that's just what the option is referring to. And then the last option is none. And essentially what this does here is this will actually just hide their products so the users cannot alter or edit the products part of the group product. Make sense? Okay. So uh, I think the best one here is group product. I think it looks a lot more cleaner and structured. And I think uh, most people like that because they feel like they're getting a deal. Now the next option is minimum bundle size and maximum. Now there isn't really a lot of cases where you're gonna use this. The only thing I can think of is in the documentation, they talked about like, you guys can use this for like a 12 pack of Coke or 12 packs of wine or something. Essentially, you want to uh, give them a maximum limit of the quantities they can have in the cart. So if you guys are doing something like a mix and match thing on your store, then you might want to limit it to like something like 12. But if you guys are not, you know, doing anything like that, then there's no use for this option. And the very last option is the edit in cart. This essentially adds this button right here that lets users actually go back to edit the item. So if they actually want to say, you know what, I think I wanna change this, I'll just go ahead and click on edit item right here. This will take the customers back to the item where they can go ahead and re-edit the group product to what they want. So you guys can always go ahead and add that option in just in case you guys want to. I personally wouldn't. I think it's a way to get users to uh, not go through the checkout process. It might actually hold them up. So we already have these in the cart right here and they can edit this. But if you have this right here as well, they can go back and edit the product in the cart. All right, makes sense. So I'll go ahead and add in some product short description here. So they're getting a basketball, right? Basketball, they're getting a glove and they are getting a basketball net. So woohoo, you know, awesome. I'll go over here, add some product gallery images, right? So they're getting a basketball net and a glove. All right, add that to the cart. And then I will update and publish this product. Okay, so here we go. We got the sports package. We have the basketball glove and basketball net. Woohoo! And then here we have the glove and basketball net. And then users right here can add it to the cart. So overall, I think this is a great plugin to have on your website. I think having this plugin can drastically increase conversions, right? So let's go over here and take a look at our carts. So let's go ahead now and scroll down and we're gonna find our sports package and voila, we have our sports package, we have our glove, and then we also have our basketball net included. So as you guys can tell, like this is a very diverse and great plugin. I do recommend to have this on your website. You guys can use this in various different ways from insurance plans to, um, you know, add everything, you know, to related products to so on and so forth. So uh, yeah, make sure to like this video. You know, I just spent a long time researching this plugin. Now I also did mention a free plugin that you guys can also use uh, if you guys don't wanna go this route. So I will show you guys the free plugin as well. I did use probably like six or seven free plugins. And the only plugin I actually felt was decent was the um, YITH plugin. So if you guys type in product bundles and you scroll down, I think this plugin right here is Probably the most decent one. These other ones that I've used, you guys can see I've installed like all of them. These other ones are very limited and they don't really work unless you get the pro. And even the pro version, it really sucks. <laughs> you know, so a lot of them are not good at all. So I'll go ahead and refresh this page. And then you're gonna see YITH product bundles. Now what we can do over here is just go ahead and show you guys really quick. So I'll just go ahead and click on add new product and just give you guys a really quick demo. 
So this will be demo products. Okay, and I'll scroll down and under product data, it's the same thing. And it is the one on the bottom right here. And here I'll click on bundled options. And it's really simple, right? So all you do here is you basically just add in the products that you want. So we have the basketball nets. And then let's just add in the running shoes as well. Okay, then I'll close this. So essentially right here we have two products, right? And then we just give it like a regular price and then the sale price, right? So these two products cost 50 bucks and that's it. You know, that's pretty much all you can do with this plugin. There are more options available in the pro version, but uh, I think this is actually a very suitable free option. If you're looking for something like this, then this is short description. We can also add in an image, right? So demo products, just throw in this uh, glove, right? Publish this. So here's an example of the demo product using the free plugin. So you'll see it shows the product, the product description, and it basically adds the product as one bundled product. This is also a good way if you guys do want to have bundled products. I do recommend this plugin. You know, it's not too advanced, but it does get the job done just fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do recommend to try out both of those plugins. If you guys felt like this video helped you guys out, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care. I personally believe that this WooCommerce product bundle plugin is an amazing plugin that everyone should add onto their website. It can really increase conversions because you guys can give discounts and you guys can give incentives for people just adding a little bit more to their cart, which I think people would already do. If people are already willing to check out and they're already out the door, they're probably willing to grab a few other products on their way out, right? So I do recommend to add this plugin on your WooCommerce store. All right, party people, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys do have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys do wanna learn how to make that amazing e-commerce website, we have that tutorial in the description below this video if you guys do wanna go ahead and check it out. My name is Daryl Wilson, and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.